G'day and welcome back to Steve's Tesla. I caught up with Chris at the recent Electrify 2515 EV Open Day held in Thoreau, New South Wales. Uh, the speed limit of 80 k's. Yep. And you see a red light off there. You yep. just back off and it'll just slow take down. You, take you through to the yeah to the lights and slow you down without braking. Chris showed me around his Hyundai Ioniq 6 and also explained to me how the heads-up display works. This is worth looking at. The Ioniq 6. So how long has this one been in the country? Uh, this is, I got one of the first uh, rounds, so this was April this year. Yeah, okay, because it is a 2023 model, I think, isn't it? That's right. So yeah. It's built in 23 as well. Okay. Do you want to show me some of the key features of it? Uh, sure. So it's a pretty spacious screen you have in there. There's two screens. One's obviously a driving screen, and the oh, other's yeah. controls. So there's a set a whole lot of menus. There's uh, you can go through and set the sound system, the navigation system. Yeah. Uh, whatever you like on that separate screen, whereas this one's like, you know, for driving, yeah, driving controls. So, would you be able to and range? Yeah, would you be able to power it up for me just sure. so I can see the that'd be great, Chris. Thanks. Good. There's a how's it work? A phone charging, so there's an inductive I'll charger for the phone, so yeah. it'll just link with Bluetooth and push button. Comes it's forward, gets into my seat position, which I've yep. basically adjusted. Uh huh. And so you can have a number of different driver profiles, can you? So there's the driver yeah. profiles come up over here. So that's myself. Yep. It makes you want to conform to the traffic rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll just confirm that. all traffic rules. Yep. And the music was on. That's marvelous. So it sort of picks up the music or the podcast where you left off, does it? That's right. Yeah. Uh, indeed. So the driving controls, it'll reset basically yep. to the number of kilometres. Uh -huh. And I can see that there's 444 kilometres to go. There's a range, yep. Yep. And this one over here is the uh, regenerative braking. So right. it's yep. set for three. I really prefer this one, which is four, and yep. then there's an intelligent yep. pedal. So you can be doing, I don't know, the speed limit of 80 k's, yep. and you see a red light off there, you yep. just back off and it'll just slow take down, you, take you through to the yeah. to the lights and slow you down without braking. So level four is the, the maximum regen, is it? That's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I like to make a game of it. We, we, you... Sides, so you oh, can, okay. You can go up and down in your level of regeneration. Oh, okay. Do you find yourself needing to change it, or do you just leave it on level four? I love just leave it on level four. Yeah, I yeah. Really like it on level four. Yeah. It's got an eye. It says eye pedal, so it takes into account things in front of you as well as right. other stuff. So it's it's a bit of smart control is there as well. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Um, and how, how is it for boot space and front space? Yeah. Have you got? Uh, Shame. Yeah. Oh, that's traditional. <laughs> Having a little, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's jam packed so with stuff. It's a dual motor, so right. it takes up most of the space in the front. Oh, so it's so a front, it's front, front wheel drive, is it? No, I'm dual assuming. motor, so it's yeah. got um, one in the back as well. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, 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 front and rear. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The right stats. Yep. Is that your comments? Yes. Yeah, I can pop it in the room. Oh, yeah, that's cavernous. So, so it's quite spacious. Yeah, I'll say. In it's the huge. back, you can get most things, and it's quite spacious in the back seat. Yeah. As well, so. Yeah. Mm. Now how do you handle the charging? You just use your standard charger at home, do you, or do you? Oh uh, no, this is a, a portable one for going out, and there's 
portable one came with the car as well. Okay, yeah. So this is an extra that I just threw in. All right. Um, no, I've got a wall charger. Yep. Uh, it's a Zappy uh, solar charger, they call it. Okay. But essentially, it's just programmable. Yeah. So you can uh, take your excess solar. Yep. And be able to put it into the car. Okay. Good. But, um, it just waits until there is excess before it charges system. it. Yeah. So what would have gone back to the grid goes right. into the car. Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Very good indeed. Yeah. How many kilometres would you average typically do in a day? Are you like a, a, a commuter or do you do 50, 100 k's a day sort of thing? Uh, my wife commutes three days a week, oh, yeah. you know, just locally, so yeah. I'm not doing uh, big k's. The heads up display is speed and warnings coming up along the side Yep. Uh, the, the road, so you've got also uh, control, there's lane control. Oh, so good. if you start to wander yep. close to them, it'll try and pull you back into the lane. Okay. Unless you've got the indicator on. So right. if you've got the indicator on, it'll break the, yep. the, the correction procedure. Yeah, I see. So it works really well because most of the time uh, you're you know, within the limits. But yeah. if you do get close to the, the lanes, it just gives you this little nudge yeah, yeah. Go back again. And it's a bit of a mental reminder as well. Of course, yeah. yeah and and that ref nice. just reflects up onto the windscreen, I take it. I've, I've seen heads up before. There's, <coughs> there, so there's um, any of the, so the navigation stuff, yep, you know, it'll comes up tell too. you actually you mm -hmm. know, what the street turn and how far away as it is. Great. Um, yeah, Wonderful. Well, a very clever innovation. So you haven't found the need for a high-speed three-phase charger or anything like that? You just run from the, the zappy? Oh, uh, we're really pleased with the way it's working out for us. Yeah. Because we're able to charge 95% of the time at home. Yeah, yeah. You know, with the solar. And on the odd occasion where we might be going on a longer trip and it's down a little bit, yeah. uh, you just put it onto fast charge and we'll charge it. Right. Up quite quickly. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it'll use mains power then instead of the solar on yeah, fast yeah. charge. It'll right. just yeah. fast charge. Mm -hmm. But okay. um, uh, the nice thing is that the uh, the solar in the middle of the day, our solar system is producing six kilowatt, oh, six or seven kilowatts. Yeah, um, excellent. And you know it'll charge up in a few hours. Yeah, yeah. So on a good sunny day, we'll get. An excess of uh, 30 kilowatt hours. Wow. And so, you know. You got electricity to burn. Exactly. <laughs> That's fantastic.